Suppose I need to deliver an emergency supply of cold drinks to my friend Keith, who lives a half mile away, but I'm too busy to drive over. Fortunately, I have a 1990 model NavLab computer-controlled van sitting out front. It is equipped with all the standard goodies, television cameras to see the road, a scanning laser rangefinder that measures 3D positions, computers to digitize and process the images, and computer-controlled steering and speed. The NavLab has software for image interpretation, including specialized modules for following dirt roads, traveling through intersections, and driving on main roads. I toss in the case of drinks, fire it up, and tell it how to drive itself to Keith's house. The 1990 model NavLab does not come standard with route planning software, so I have to look over the maps stored in the NavLab's computer and generate specific instructions on where to go and how to drive. The NavLab built the map earlier by watching as I drove it around the neighborhood, recording the locations of roads, the shapes of intersections, and the locations of 3D objects. I add a few annotations to the map to tell the NavLab what processing modules to use, where to speed up, when to slow down, and where to stop. I hit the run switch, step out of the NavLab, and it takes off. The NavLab has several different ways of seeing roads and needs hints from the map to know which method to use in which location. I told it to drive along the streets using images from the color cameras processed by a fast neural network algorithm which we call Alvin. It digitizes images from a color camera and processes them to enhance the contrast between road and off-road. The enhanced images are fed to a simulated neural network which has been trained by watching a human drive along similar roads. Alvin's neural network directly outputs steering angles to the NavLab steering wheel. Suddenly, an unexpected obstacle appears in front of the van. The scanning laser rangefinder is constantly looking for 3D objects, and when a vertical object is detected in front of the van, an emergency stop command is sent directly to the low-level controller. The van halts, waits for the obstacle to disappear, then resumes driving along its route. When the nav lab approaches intersections, the color cameras see only asphalt, and Alvin is unable to interpret the images. The map gives instructions to switch to landmark navigation. The laser rangefinder finds 3D objects on the side of the road that it has previously recorded in the map and uses those objects as landmarks to update its position on the map. Once the NavLab knows exactly where it is, it can drive blind using its inertial guidance system long enough to traverse or accurately turn through an intersection. Leaving the intersection, the NavLab's map tells it to pay attention to its color cameras again and to increase its speed. Alvin finds the road again and steers the NavLab toward its goal. Finally, the NavLab uses dead reckoning to predict that it should be approaching Keith's house, uses 3D sensing to find his mailbox, and comes to a stop. The drinks are still cold.